So let's look at completing the squares for these two. So we'll start off with this one here. So we open up our brackets. We're going to end up with our x plus, and it's half of what's here, 3, all squared. But that's going to give us x squared plus 6x, but it's also going to give us an extra value of 9. So we're going to have to take the 9 away, plus 7 equals 0. So that's going to leave us with our x plus 3, all squared, minus 9 plus 7 is minus 2. So that's quite a straightforward one. Well, let's look at the next one here. So if we look at this one here, we have to take out the common factor of 5 first of all, so that we're left here with our x squared minus 6x minus 18 equals 0. So now we can go ahead and we can complete the square. We can say 5, and we can do that as x minus 3 all squared minus the 18. But of course, we've now got the x squared and we've got minus 6x, but we've also got a factor of plus 9. But it's not only plus 9, it's plus 9 times the 5, so it's actually plus 45. So in order to get that correct, we're going to have to take that 45 away, and that equals 0. So we're going to be left with 5 upon x minus 3 all squared, and that will be minus 55, 65 minus 63 equals 0. So there's an extra little step in that one. So let's look at these two now. And we'll start off with this one. So we're going to open up our brackets. We'll have our squared. It's going to be x plus 1. So we're going to have x squared plus 2x. But it's going to be plus 1. So that's we don't read that plus 1. So we're going to take that 1 away. So we'll get minus 1. And we've got the original minus 1. So that's going to be left leaving us with x plus 1. All squared minus 2. So we'll go on and look at this one now. So the first thing we have to do is take out the common factor here. So we've got to take the 2 out. And we're going to be left with our x squared plus x minus 1. So now we can go ahead and complete the square. So we're going to have our 2 and we'll have our x plus a half all squared minus 1. But of course now we've got the extra term of a half times a half, which is a quarter. But of course that's all times 2, so it's 2 times a quarter, which is a half. So we get an extra value of plus a half, so we've got to take a half back off. So we're going to be left with 2x plus a half all squared. It's minus 1 minus a half, so that's minus 3 up and 2. So that's all there is for this video. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.